All right. So yesterday I was watching Sarah Chung's video on how she catfishes the internet. That video was so inspiring because why? I look like this every single day. If I have nothing to do, I will look like this. And every single picture you see on my Instagram, y'all are being catfished. My hair is not cute. I actually finally just got my nails done, so. Mm -hmm. I wake up with my retainers in my mouth and most of the time I have these babies in my mouth because I'm trying to get my teeth looking cuter. You guys are gonna see how I transform from this to this. First, I have to go brush my teeth. I gotta take out my retainers. I'll be right back and let down this hair. Let's get this tutorial rolling. Hair down, retainers out, add a little bit of curls. We are one step towards looking cuter and cuter. I just wanna thank Sephora inside JCPenney for partnering with me in this video. They have a whole bunch of new items that's exclusively available in Sephora inside JCPenney. And let me show you some of the goodies. These are the three products that are exclusively available in Sephora inside JCPenney and Sephora. They are amazing. I've been using these velour lashes. They're made for little short eyes like mine. They're no trim. They're amazing. They're like my everyday lashes. I've been loving this Hydro Grip Primer from Milk because my skin is just very dry and this spring I want to look super glowy and Kaja's eyeshadows are just beyond this world. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be using these products to create my catfish look. Starting off with Milk's Hydro Grip Primer. This stuff is bomb.com. All you need is like one and a half pump. And you guys know how I am obsessed with products that make my skin feel good, look good. This does just that. You wanna get this right underneath your eyes too because that area tends to get pretty dry. So you don't have to worry about this drying out your face at all because it is super hydrating. And I love how there's a bit of this immediate tackiness that dries up really quickly so that product will cling on there and you can be sure your foundation will just look amazing for the full day. For foundation, I've been, oh my goodness, loving Dior's Forever Skin Glow. You guys probably know that I'm not a huge foundation person, but when I found this guy, it changed my life. I can actually wear this every single day and the reason being is because it has skincare properties in it and also a little bit of sunscreen. I won't rely heavily on this as sunscreen because you definitely need sunscreen, but it's very hydrating, but it's not oily throughout the day. I can't explain it, but every time I wear this foundation, I get compliments and people are always asking me like, what are you wearing on your skin? Dior has been killing it with their foundations. And then with my makeup sponge, we're going to blend this product out. I tend to like to put a lot towards the center of my face because I have a lot more discoloration here and dark circles and freckles. So this is really great in covering it up. This foundation is also really buildable, but I tend to only like using one layer because I feel like that just does a trick for me. So yeah, look at my skin. Damn girl, I'm glowing. I'm glowing right now. Taking my hair out now. Cause I look way cuter with my hair down. Okay, everything I'm using in this video is bomb.com. I picked the best products from Sephora and said JCPenney. This concealer had me shook from Marc Jacobs. I'm in the shade Light 26, and it's extremely creamy, and you get really full coverage out of this concealer. It's also great for when you're traveling. You don't have to worry about it exploding everywhere or TSA taking it from you. Super duper creamy, so all you gotta do is, once again, take your beauty blender and dap the product out. So YSL's foundation stick has been my go-to for contouring. This stick is, again, perfect for traveling. And I keep mentioning traveling because I've just been going about places and finding the perfect product for my face while I'm traveling is so important. So I'm in the shade bronze and I just kind of go in there and shape my nose out to give a little bit more depth. I want to give the illusion that my face is a lot slimmer than it really is. So I'm actually bringing the contour pretty early on into my face and bringing it back like that. Same thing goes for this side. Now you really don't need a lot of skill to do this because 
This product is so blendable. And the reason why it's so blendable is because it was meant to be a foundation stick. So it's really, really easy to work with. You can use your beauty blender again. So when you're traveling, all you need is your beauty blender, not too many brushes. Once again, take your makeup sponge and just start, I like to start blending away into my hairline. Hello cheekbones, there you are. You kinda wanna take your sponge and pull it down. I'm taking Huda Beauty's setting powder in the color Cupcake. Now I'm not baking my face, but I will be shaping my nose out because I really want that to be snatched. Outline the spot right next to where I had my contour earlier. I'm keeping my T-zone and my under eye area pretty bare right now, but I wanna carve out this spot right here. While all of that is baking, I'm going to get into my brows. I gotta admit my brows is not at its best state right now. And that's because I'm really trying to grow it out, make it bushy, look very natural, okay? But the in-between stages is just like, ugh. What I've been doing lately is starting off with the Benefits Give Me Brow, and this is in the shade five. So I am really going in there to lengthen each hair and make it look as bushy as possible. Last year, I was super about the solid brow with like pomade. This year, I just want it to look natural, like I was born with a brow that's filled. Obviously, I don't have a thick filled brow. Doing this is gonna give the illusion that my hairs are a lot thicker. Now taking Benefit's Brow Contour Pro, I am using the lighter shade for the front of my brow. I'm drawing these really light handed upward strokes. Now using the deeper shade, add a little bit of length to my brow because yo girl got nothing back there. I think that's pretty good. Like it looks natural, it looks bushy. That's exactly what I'm going for. So now I'm gonna finish off the other brow and I'll be right back. My eyes are naturally a little bit more droopy and I really wanna create that natural cat eye, sharp eye, foxy look. So today I'm using Natasha Denona's palette. Using this color Sienna, this will be a really great base just to outline and add a little bit of depth. So we're really just going to apply this where the socket of my eyeball is. And then from a swiping motion, you're gonna get a lot of color out of this palette. Her colors are so, so creamy and so pigmented. So it's really easy to work with. Now I'm taking this shade called Bronzage and it is a matte dark brown. The key is to just apply it to the outer corner of your eye like this in a V shape. So I wanna take it down like this you wanna bring it slowly upwards into the outer corner of your eye. Don't take it in at all because that will make your eyes look rounder. We wanna keep it outside so that it looks sharper and give you this cat eye look. I'm gonna take the shade right here with my fingers. Look at that pigment though. That is incredible. I barely tapped it. And I wanna just apply this to the ball of my eyeball, the highest point where the sun would naturally hit. I literally just tapped it. This is so beautiful. If you're gonna buy a natural everyday palette, I kid you not, I really, really recommend this one. I've used so many eyeshadow palettes that have these sh similar shades, but none of them look as good as this. Instagram model makeup has been my major jam right now, and Kaja's eyeshadow kit here in Orange Blossom has this really beautiful, almost like glass-like eyeshadows. Um, if you wanna make your eyelids look glassy, today I wanna make my inner corners look like they're teary, and like it just catches light in the right spots. I'm taking a round brush, and I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner of my eyes and kind of round it out. Eyeliner, I'm using Kat Von D's Cake Liner in the color Mad Max Brown. You guys, I've used a lot of pencil liners, and I have extremely oily lids. This guy absolutely does not budge, even if it's super hot outside. Honestly, this is like great for Coachella festival looks, and you want to give that like, I just woke up like this with really full lashes, like I'm just born beautiful. First, I'm just going to tight line. We're using a pencil today because I really just want this look to look smoky. I think this pencil works best when you take little small strokes like this, and then you connect them together. This cake liner really does not fail me though. I've used so many different pencil liners, and at the end of the night, I don't know why, but all the other ones, even the ones that promise that it has 24 hour stay, apply a coat of mascara so that my lashes and the falsies that I'm gonna apply after is going to blend in really well together. These are 
definitely my favorite lashes right now from Velour. I have one on my eye already, so you guys can tell the difference. This is in the style of Just a Hint, and it's so beautiful. So they look like your lash extensions, but you can take them off, so. I'm gonna give myself a cheek lift. So I'm gonna start off with Dandelion, and I've been obsessed, like super obsessed with a majorly rosy look. So this is a matte shade that I'm just kind of finding where I want my blush to sit. Typically, it's right here where I smile. This is the highest point of my cheek, and then when you put it right here and then bring it upwards, it definitely lifts up your face. This side is a lot more snatched upwards. You may not be able to tell right now, but once I apply this shade right here called California and Tickle, just kind of go between these two, they have a little bit of shimmery properties in it and that will really lift the cheek up. So take a look at that. That just added a lot of highlight onto my cheekbones and that really lifted my whole cheek upwards. It's time to dust off all of the powder from earlier. And so as well as here. I'm taking the Huda Beauty powder again and taking a loose brush. I'm literally just taking a little bit of it and sweeping it over the areas where I have excess oil. Now the reason why I don't want to bake is because I still want to let my natural glow shine through. I'm just gonna take this down my nose, take it around my under eye area. We're just gonna tap the product in so we're buffing it in with a kind of loose fluffy brush. This is actually a highlighter brush. Gonna go around the mouth corners. We're set with powder and we're still looking very natural. We're gonna glow, majorly glow. Artist Couture's Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati is so beautiful. So I'm gonna take the highlight on my cheekbones and really apply it to the tip of my nose as well as my nose bridge, but just right here. That's all I really needed. Oh my goodness. Last but not least, Cupid's bow. I like to not just get the top here though, I like to get all of it from this point forward down your nose. Really highlight that, accentuate that area. Do you see that? It really makes a difference. It just makes your face pop. I'm gonna start lining my lips with Huda Beauty's Trendsetter. I'm gonna over align my lips just a little bit. This is my go-to shade lately for like a natural nude lip. This is Huda Beauty's Power Bullet in the color Interview. I love this lipstick. It also has this pointy tip, so you get a really precise application. So we got the lipstick on for gloss. Fenty Beauty's Fussy is to die for. This is a super non-stick lip gloss and it just makes your lips look so kissable. So top on my lip first. Here's the finished look. I got my hair tied up, pop in some new colored eyes, and this is how I catfish the internet. From this to this. Every single thing that I used in this video, you can find in the description box below, and you can find it all in Sephora Inside JCPenney. I hope you guys were able to walk away, learn a little bit here and there from my kind of everyday catfishing routine. I keep saying catfishing, but honestly, this is just like how I put myself together to look cute for myself. If you guys happen to have an Instagram, feel free to follow me at I am Karen o. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know, hmm, ah, leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite snack is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Good morning, you guys. My name is Karen, in case you didn't recognize me. I just woke up and I'm going to be doing this video called How I Catfish the Internet because I literally just finished watching Sarah Chung do her video and I was like, girl, I look like that all the time. My hair, it's up right now because I have not washed it for five days. This will be the fifth day and it's, it's actually very itchy and very stinky. So that's why I have it. And my nails are also a wreck. They are halfly grown out. I've let that happen. You guys are gonna see a whole transformation of me looking cute. Let's go. Hi, 
Hi, I was wondering if you guys have any um, time for a hair wash right now. Oh, you you want blow dry? Yeah, just a blow dry and a hair wash. Hold on a second, hold on. She said yes, you can come. Oh, okay, oh my god, thank you. See you. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Woohoo! All right, we're gonna go now. Oh my god, I forgot to change my change my house slippers. I'm wearing my house slippers out. Whoops. <laughs> Transformation. <laughs> All right, here is my nails after. This is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. I finally changed out of my pajama tops. I think I am in much better shape. And now, I'm just gonna get myself snatched up. Oh my god, it's a new person from this morning. I'm so cute right now. So cute. Got some new nails, new hair, new makeup. I filmed a whole video on this too, so can't wait for you guys. To